Hey, it's Kevin Garcia with FightHype.com, and I have the one and only, the man himself, uh, CEO of Matchroom Boxing, Eddie Hearn. How you feeling, Eddie? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. A bit tired, but this is the last interview now, I think. So we're nearly done. Yeah. yeah get you... a workout and a bit of dinner, and then uh, yeah. early night. Nice. And you've been a great sport, so we appreciate your time, Eddie. You know, I'm going to dive right into it. I don't know. I, I know you've been thumbing around on your phone during some of the other interviews, but I don't know how much you saw or did not see. Devin Haney, he was just arrested in Hollywood. He was found with a semi-automatic gun in his car, unfortunately. What do you think about that? I mean, I don't know enough about it. I mean, I think they was found under someone else's seat or whatever, I don't know. I mean, all I can tell you is what I know about the man. He's an upstanding citizen. He's a well-mannered individual, has no violence in him at all. Uh, and I guess the truth will, will play out, but I'm sure uh, Devin has his reasons or someone has their reasons. And yeah, as I said, he's a, he's a good kid. So, uh, yeah. For sure, for sure. Do you think it's going to have any impact on any business dealings you might have been doing with him, anything with Regis or too No, I think you'll go, you know, yeah, it, it, there'll obviously be a process that he has to go through, uh, well above the laws of Matrim, and um, providing he's cleared to fight, which I believe he will be. Obviously, those conversations will continue. For sure, for sure. So just sticking with Devin, I mean, uh, last time I saw you were in New Orleans, he had, you know, we just had the Regis Pro Grace fight. There was some chatter between the two of them after. Um, you know, can we expect to see that fight, especially with Devin? You know, he seems to be pretty entangled with Shakur and mm -hmm. even Tio now today. What do you think? How likely is it that we get Regis versus Devin? At the end of the day, fights that get negotiated online rarely happen. I think. Tia Fimo, who I, yeah, I think he's great. I think the chances of Devin Haney and Tia Fimo Lopez agreeing a deal are very slim. Um, and I believe Regis Progray is a fight that can be made. I know that Devin wants that fight. I don't think we're too far away from a deal for him. We've now sent Regis Progray an offer and we're discussing that at the moment. And we'll see what happens. I think it's a tremendous fight. I think it's a good fight for both. And I think it's it's a fight that can happen for him to try and become a champion at 140. And I believe Regis Progre can win that fight. You know, I, I think it's a great fight for him as well. So hopefully that's a fight that can get made. Yeah. Let's say for whatever reason it doesn't happen, could you see maybe a unification about like possibly T.O.? I mean, you seem to have a pretty good working relationship with Bob or Broly or Subriel. Yeah, what do you think I, happens if yeah, not that? I think... I think uh, We'd be happy, Regis would be happy to fight Tiafimo Lopez, he'd be happy to fight Devin, Ryan Garcia, Subriel Matisse, any of those guys. So obviously Roly is the one that everybody wants to fight. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I think, uh, yeah, Regis, Regis look, needs that big fight, in my opinion. I think he'll get it. Do you think we see either a, like a big name or um, is it a championship? In other words, if not a championship fight with one of those three guys, could it be like Ryan Garcia maybe? Yeah, or? I mean, the WBC have ordered the mandatory against Sandor Martin, mm -hmm. obviously who fought Teofimo Lopez. So it's not a big fight for us. And being honest, like it's not a fight that I'm overly interested in mm -hmm. because I want to make a big fight for Regis, but obviously it's his mandatory and we'll, we'll see what happens.